yesterday I was continuing working on the clamps in the morning and then while I was waiting for glue to dry I went in and worked on the plants uh, yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening and again this morning and they're almost done um, the clamps are almost done except I don't think I'm going to be able to get them done for Sunday I just have too much to do between then and now and the biggest part of course is editing the video so might have to put it ahead to next weekend. Um, posted that video yesterday about the uh, salt on the glue. A lot of people, I don't know. I don't know. One of my favorite shows of all time was Frasier. And every single episode was based around, um, I guess you could say, misunderstanding. Where people would misunderstand a, a situation and, and, you know, run with it type thing. And I saw a lot of that yesterday. I wasn't saying mix the uh, salt in with the glue. I mean, obviously, obviously, uh, you'd have to pay attention to what I'm saying there. That's the big problem with people, I guess. They don't pay attention to what you're saying. And I see this over and over and over again. So I don't know. It's almost like you have to dumb down everything that you're saying so that people will actually follow it. And it's unfortunate, you know? I, like my website is a WordPress thing, so there's an SEO thing in there and it'll give you an evaluation of your, say, sentence structure within the articles that you're writing. And most of mine get an unhappy face because it, it deems them too complicated for people to read. If it has more than three or four words, then it's too complicated for people to follow these days. Anyway, so what am I doing here? I got all my gear brought out. I bought this little amplifier um months ago and it's the one that I, I i power the speakers that are in my office and um i got it on amazon and it claims to be hang on it's on when it shouldn't be on no it's actually on it was off the light's still on i don't know anyway it claims to be 50 watts per channel into a four ohm load so i thought i would bring out my gear and test it and see if that's actually true what have I got? I got the, the oscilloscope. I'm going to turn that on. I've got the function generator. I'm going to turn that on. That's set to a 1 kilohertz sine wave. Um, and it's uh, 0 to 2 volts peak to peak. Uh, the little amplifier here is plugged into this little power brick. And this is really the questionable part. Because I looked this up before I bought it. And it's based on the... Uh, uh, it's, it's based on a... a what I, I deem to be, or what I consider to be a good chip, which is, uh, I think it's the TPA3116D. If I, if I remember that correctly, it's amazing. Anyway, so the chip is good, but it's the power supply that they give with it that is questionable. I mean, you need the power to get the power out. I've got the volume turned all the way up to max. I don't know if this is on or off because the light is on. And I guess I'll find out in a second. Anyway, so what else I've got here is I've got my power supply. I made a video about this um, three or four years ago showing this. This is something that I built a long time ago. But it's a power supply, like a dual power supply. And it also has this section in here. And this is a dummy load and it's switchable from two ohms 4 ohms, 8 ohms, 16 ohms, and 32 ohms. Probably a bit more than I actually need. I only need 8 and 4 here. So I've currently got it set up to 8 ohms. And I also have my, uh, my multimeter here that gives me a, a true RMS uh, reading. So I set it to AC. This will tell me how many volts RMS that the thing is putting out with the sine wave, okay? But I got this camera looking at that. All right, so 3.6. You can see the, the wave on the uh, scope over here. What I'm looking for is where it clips. Clips means that the top of the, the round top of the wave uh, cuts off. That means that it's run out of power. Okay, so I'll jack that up and here, it's right here. So that's 
five volts at the peak like I don't think you know, no it's just that's where it's clipping 12.75 you could say so I'm gonna take the calculator hang on I'll turn that down again this is into 8 ohms by the way so I'll take my calculator and 12.75 times 12.75 divided by H equals, that's 20 watts. That's 20 watts before clipping from this into eight ohms. So that's not bad actually, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn that off and turn on the four ohm one and we'll see, We'll see what, how it performs into that. Because amps perform differently into different loads. And this was rated at 50 watts per channel into a 4 ohm, ohm load. So it should still clip around the same area. And it does. I'm just going to get in here close. And it's right there. And it's 12.22. So back to the calculator again. You calculate power by, you know, it's volts squared divided by the resistance, okay? So, 12.22 times 12.22 divided by 4 equals 37. So, you're only getting 37 watts uh, out of one channel, actually, using this power brick right here. It's simply not strong enough. It doesn't have enough voltage or current to deliver the power that it needs. So if you really want to get 50 watts per channel from this thing, you need to get a bigger power supply. Anyway, so that's about what I expected. The weak link is, of course, the power supply. Uh, with a better power supply, a little bit more voltage, a lot more current, you'll get better performance out of it. Uh, it won't sound any better, of course. It won't clip as, as quickly, though, when you crank it up. Uh, I looked at the specs for the chip that they used here, and uh, maximum supply voltage is 21 volts. So if you got a brick that's 21 volts at, say, 5 or 6 amps, maybe 8 amps. I don't know if they make them that big. But this one here is like um, 19 volts at supposedly 4.7 amps. So, yeah, if you want to get the most out of a little thing like this, that you need a better power supply. Or you can just go with the one that they sent with it and save your money and lower your expectations a little bit. The thing sounds pretty good, in my opinion. Although, like I've said many times before, my hearing is shot. i put the cover back on my, my beautiful thing here and bring it back down to the basement. Um, I could have powered it from this. This certainly has enough power to drive that to like uh, maximum capacity, but then I would have to rig up a cord and all that. And that's a little bit more than I wanted to do today. Um, like I said, if you're interested in this power, I, you know, I can't remember the video, how good it is. Probably crappy. Um, but I made it, so if you're interested in the power supply, go check that out. If I can find the hole here, it'd be awesome. And you know what? I've got this reversed. Look at this. This is neat. This is uh, hardboard, actually. All these neatly drilled holes, and then I sprayed this texture uh, paint on there to make it look more pro. I had a lot of work in this thing right here, though. Wow. Um, so yeah, if you want to, if you want a little bit more detail on this, you can go check out that video. There'll be a link in the description. Look, there's no way you'd stand a chance against those guys. But you said I was the best prospect you'd ever seen. You, you said you could make me a champion. Yeah, I've been liquored up for 17 years. Uh, my judgment's not what it once was. 